Anyone who's worked in a volunteer organisation will know that we, you just never can do any of this by yourselves. And the support that you get from community members um, and just members in the, and the actual club members as well is quite incredible. So there's a few people in the room that we actually really want to acknowledge um, and um, offer a certificate of appreciation. Um, so the first person that we'd like to acknowledge is Rod Chapello. Rod, could yes. you please come up? So Rod much prefers to stay in the background um, and we won't let him today because <laughs> there's too many women in this room, myself included, who would not be standing here without you. I'm, I, I met Rod um, a couple of times in my life at some very interesting junctures um, and his generosity of spirit is just incredible. Um, there is, there is just, I don't, there's not really words to actually describe what this, I don't know, I don't think you even sleep most nights um, for the amount of work that you do. Um, but I guess one of the most significant contributions that Rod has made to Simney, he has actually personally funded um, and subsidised eight of our members to go to the um, Commission on the Status of Women uh, conference in New York. Um, and that is no small feat. Um, you can imagine what it takes to send these women. But he just, he sees someone in need and he just finds a way to help them and he can't sleep or stop until he has. And you are that one man. You are that one man that stands beside us, Rod. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I just like to, um, add our thanks, Rod. It was eight women, including myself, which was nine, that went to New York for CSW in 2017. That's where we were. And last 2020, Natasha, Fiona and I went to New York with the thing called Corona kind of just emerging out there. So a lot of those meetings were cancelled and all the rest of it. But in our little booklet today, you'll see a little note on the front of that there. And it's a dedication to Rod's daughter, Kate, who was very instrumental in helping us when we were in New York in 2017. She was a crisis management um, coordinator with Deutsche Bank and she sadly passed away last year in New York. So Rod's family have endured some very significant um, personal loss and grief over the last couple of years, but his capacity to still reach out and support other people knows no bounds. He is the biggest disruptor in my life of any man that I have ever met. And I say that with a lot of warm affection, but he really is that one man that when we say, you stand up for women, you hear our cries, you are there to celebrate us, he is that one man. And he asks for nothing in return. He doesn't want recognition. You know, we've got to kind of prize him out. And there's always, I just want to sit at the back. I don't want anybody to know me. And there are no words or gifts that we can give Rod, except to continue to do the things that we do for and on behalf of other women, other men, and people in our community. From our heart, Rod, to yours, we love everything that you do for and on behalf of everyone. You make this world a better place. It is all about MC squared and um, love is what it's all about. So thank you for coming today. And